Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode, we arrived here in Port Royal and did everything that we could do, including defeating the Great Heartless, the Grim Reaper, by collecting all of the medallions that a organization member stole from the chest. So, Port Royal is pretty much done, except for some puzzle pieces. In this episode, we are going to proceed to Agrabah, a battle level 40 world, to do whatever is going on there. Now, it is worth mentioning that at this point, you can either head to Olympus Coliseum, or, of course, you can head to Halloween Town, or Agrabah. Uh, Olympus Coliseum, obviously, being the lower battle level, means that it's a little bit easier, but there is more that we can actually get here in Agrabah, so that's where I'm gonna go. Let's land right here in Agrabah. This merchant looks like he may have unleashed Genie Jafar. That's not good. What? Don't break that. You break it, you buy it. Uh-oh. Oh, hello there, friends. Wow, you made out like a bandit. I wonder. Please, I am but an honest merchant. What you see is merely the reward for my hard work. Gosh, they sure are nice. Mmm, and they're on sale. Interested? No thanks. Listen, have you seen a guy in a black coat? Someone from Organization 13? Who, me? Most certainly not. Well, we'll keep asking around then. Yo, I don't trust this guy at all. Sora, don't let him get away! Uh, what's going on? Can't believe it! That stupid peddler let Jafar out of the lamp! Jafar?! <laughs> Give me the magic lamp, Aladdin. And now, street rats, I bid you farewell. Crush those urchins. <laughs> you guys better be careful. Huh? I'm sure Jafar wants to take over Agra Agrabah again, but I know he's out for revenge, too. I guess he's still sore about that whole lamp thing, huh? Yeah, think? Iago was there when Jafar was released. Okay, Iago, spill it. Hey! I told you everything I know! That was a horrible voice. This is your one and only chance, Iago. If I find out later that you've been lying or hiding things from us, we're through. I'll never speak to you again. I can't take it! I know where Jafar is. Where? Uh, or I mean, that is, um, uh, I really shouldn't. Viago? He's in the desert ruins. Let the, let's get the jump on him then. Lead the way. So we will switch Aladdin into our party. We'll keep Goofy in there as well. Although, moving on, Donald's not a terrible idea because we do have Donald's new ability, which is uh, Flare Force, which is going to give us the limit uh, Duck Flare, which is probably the strongest in the game. So we're going to go ahead and equip that right now. Uh, and that's pretty much all we're going to worry about for this moment. Uh, and like I was saying, Agrabah is actually really worth coming to. We can also see that this is obviously here as well. We're not going to do anything with that just yet, but it is there. Uh, we do know who that is as well, don't we? Uh, probably. We can go ahead and talk to the synthesizing shop, see if we have anything to drop off. We don't. Uh, and we can go ahead and talk to Aladdin, or O'Donnell. Uh, this shop used to be a pile of rubble. Rubble! Rubble it all! How could he have made it so luxurious? I bet he's on the... Ooh, maybe. I can't believe what that peddler did. Me either. Goofy, according to Iago, Jafar's in the desert ruins. We should be able to get there. All right, so into Agrabah. So we just want to head all the way to the desert ruins. You can fight the enemies that appear if you so choose, although it doesn't totally matter here. Uh, but defeating them and getting that experience, eh, whatever, not a big deal. But the real place that we want to go to is, of course, the desert ruins. So it's up to you what you want to do. 
uh, here. But look at that, Sora did level up, so I'll take that. Defense increased and, uh, and magic, so uh, that's pretty cool for us. We're gonna head this way, head to the bazaar. Now, the bazaar is actually a bulky vendor spawn as well. Um, you can actually destroy... There it is! Uh, no, that's actually not it. Okay, so one of these can actually be destroyed and a bulky vendor can actually appear. Which is very, very good uh, for us, actually, if one does appear. So you can keep entering this room and destroying all of this and uh, eventually you might actually get a bulky vendor to appear. They do typically hide in these buildings, uh, or in these stalls, I should say. You actually have to destroy them uh, destroy the stalls to see exactly where they are, uh, which is actually seriously worth doing because the bulky vendors, like I've said, are just amazing when it comes to experience. So once you're satisfied and you feel like, uh, I've defeated enough Heartless here, uh, you can actually just head to the desert, which is exactly what you want to do, or the palace walls, I should say. There's got to be a way. Ah, oh, come on, kid. That's an easy one. Ow, oh, buddy, oh, pal. This is what having a genie for a best friend is all about. I mean, how can you leave me on the sidelines at a time like this? Live large. Swallow, Mel. the old razzmatazz. What do you say, kid? Hey, genie. Zora. Want to see a little something I call sandstorm sweep? Oh, Take it away, Genie. I like uh, You know, one lousy sandstorm is just too easy. Giving me a challenge next time, eh, Al? Thanks, Genie. So now that Genie's cleared that, I guess this is the only place we can go. Now, something will happen later that will actually bring us all the way back to the Cave of Wonders, but don't worry about that right now. We'll show that in a later video. You actually can't do it right now anyway. So let's continue towards these ruins. Now what do we do? Nice timing, Carpet. This whole part is kind of weird, kind of cheesy. Um, it's, it, yeah, it is what it is. So when we are on the magic carpet, we now have complete, complete control of it. I say that, but that, like, not really. We don't really have control of it. Uh, L2 is our lock commands. While pressed, use the right stick to control commands. Left stick, move, you know, front, back, whatever. Use X to attack enemies from a distance. You can lock your camera, all that jazz. Uh, and this is actually where we are. So the first things first is we actually want to head over to Jafar. These versions of him are going to be all over. Every single time we need to keep track of him, uh, Heartless are going to be stopping us, or trying to stop us, on our way. Now, something that you'll notice is that these guys actually are super easy to destroy. Uh, this is, isn't a hard part of the game whatsoever. A bunch of hook bats, some rapid thrusters, no problem. You can bat cry them. You still have access to all of your reaction commands. These aerial stuff, pretty easy. Uh, aerial, all of that. All of it is so easy. You can defeat these... Um, these Heartless, which are pretty easy, and then uh, eventually we do have another one, it looks like, right here, which we can go ahead and focus on and tear him down real quick, and she is dead. And now it will have us, and we just keep fighting like this for the rest of Agrabah. And actually, you should learn how to control this right now, because we have a boss fight on the magic carpet, which isn't the most fun. But for now, we actually want to stay locked down to him if we can. Don't worry about that puzzle piece that I just passed. We'll actually be able to get that. But right here, you actually want to stay on him as much as you can. He'll actually keep kind of going away uh, each time. And you want to you want to hit him uh, before he casts those spells uh, that he can do there, because that that's, you know, obviously not good. We don't want him casting any spells here. Uh, but you just kind of want to stay on top of him as much as you can only hit him when he's casting the spell everything else doesn't matter he's just gonna move uh, right here we can of course 
uh, grab this puzzle piece, if I can grab that, there we go. Um, but mostly, you just want to stay on him, don't let him cast, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. And eventually, uh, oh, he's still casting. There we go, and he's destroyed. And there you go, that's the entire Jafar boss fight. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so that is Jafar for now. Now we need to chase Jafar's shadow. Uh, again though, we can go ahead and grab whoop, that puzzle piece as well, if we so chose. And we just want to follow him all the way up here, skip all of the enemies that are appearing, and let's see if we can take him down. Now this part can be kind of frustrating, so what we want to do is we actually want to turn around uh, and go up as far as we can, and we'll actually have the enemies come to us, we'll cast Magnet, and then we can kind of just kind of just hit them out of the way and destroy them like this. But this way, they're not going all over, uh, and we'll actually kind of command these people, uh, these enemies to come to us, which is really, really, really handy. And you'll notice that I use Magnet all the time, uh, and the reason for that is because Magnet is just really, really strong of a spell. Uh, to destroy, uh, to beat the Heartless here. And just like that, that phase is done. So we need to examine the monument now. Uh, apparently there's some three switches? Ah, so using these, we'll actually activate the three that we need to go get. Which is not actually too bad. So we saw the one that was right under here. So we can just go right underneath here and grab this one. There we go. Use magic to trigger the switches. Uh, so if I'm not mistaken, we can actually just wait until... Uh, so this one wants fire. Uh, let's see. Let's see what ends up happening. I have to wait for my MP to come back no matter what. So let's just wait just a second. We'll hit this one with fire as soon as it's able. And there we go. So that one is fire using magic to tri trigger the switch. Uh, will require exact timing. So you just have to wait. You just have to wait. It'll happen. It'll happen. There we go. There we go. Trigger two more switches. So we got that one. Uh, and now we're just going to pretty much skip the Heartless that appear here. Because it really, really, they really don't matter. And now you just have to find find the switches really, really, really quickly. However fast you want. Uh, there are, of course, obvious uh, ways to do this that are a little bit faster. Um, some speedrunners, you know, have their own strategies and stuff that they do here. But if you're just playing the game casually, it doesn't totally matter. And you can kind of avoid these Heartless for the most part. Right here, I believe this one is going to be a Thunder one, if I'm not mistaken. It is. Uh, so we'll go ahead, wait for these to line up, and boom! Cast Thunder. So we got that switch. Now we just have to find the last switch, with which, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, should actually be uh, in one of... There it is. Uh, right over here, so we actually skipped that a little bit when we were going forward, but this one is going to, of course, be Blizzara, uh, so we'll wait, uh, oh, nope, nope, oh, nope, nope, hang on, team, hang on, gotta wait here, alright, let's get rid of these, let's get rid of these rapid thrusters real quick, just because they're actually kind of, kind of being annoying, kind of stopping me from, uh, being able to focus on this and using Blizzara on it, so let's wait a second, uh, oops, not what I wanted to do, um, just wait for it to line up, there you go. And there we go. All three switches are done, and we can move on. Like I said, Agraba at this point is super gimmicky. It's unlike anything we've done before, but I actually don't hate it. So triggering, triggering all three of those switches are going to open our way into the tower. Don't forget, we are, of course, looking for Jafar's lamp. If we can get Jafar's lamp, uh, we win. Now, you have to do this in a certain amount of time before it goes away. Don't worry, though, team. You should easily, easily be able to do that. Even if even if you're bad at controlling this, just don't sit there and fight, uh, and you will be fine. So, see, we're just zoom right in. Made it easy peasy. Not a big deal. And we'll find ourselves inside the ruined chamber, which, is, again, is a completely new zone in this version of Agrabah. Uh, before, you know, last time, obviously, we couldn't get in here. Gosh, this place is a mess. I wonder what Jafar is doing here. I don't know, making a mess. We made it to the ruins. Magic carpets sure do come in handy. Right here, we can grab another item, which is, of course, going to be torn pages. We've gotten a lot throughout this game. We can talk to uh, Iago, who says we should go back. We can talk to Aladdin. He's not going to say too much more. Just that Jafar might be up ahead. So right now, I recommend saving. And then we can just proceed up here. Don't worry. You'll be fine. The game's up, Jafar. You sure this is it? Wah, wah. You gotta understand! It 
wasn't my idea. It was your fault. He made me bring you here. You don't know him like I do. He can be very convincing. He said if I didn't cooperate, he was gonna... Where is he? Come on, Al, you gotta forgive me. Where's Jafar? Well, uh, let's see. Right about now, he's probably attacking the palace. I had no choice. His eyes, they got all creepy and weird. Whatever. Iago, you're supposed to be our friend. But you've been playing both sides just to make sure you save yourself. I knew you were still a bad guy. I'm sorry! Yo, Iago, dude, you're a straight-up mess. So now we need to escape from the ruins. The ruins that are going to be crumbling around us. Now, this part actually isn't bad. Uh, we just need to hit these Heartless, basically, uh, as as they appear. Uh, and, and, you know, just keep them away from you. But one hit, and they'll actually go away. And you just need to be careful. Uh, seriously, you full combo, they'll hit the wall, and they'll die. So this is actually a great way to get some quick experience. Just because you're actually just forced into these fights. So it's, like, not really a problem. Uh, and it's just kind of cool to be like, oh, okay, well, like, I love this part. I think this part's actually really cool. Um, it's super easy. This is a good time to also get those, um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, it, the puzzle pieces, if you didn't get them the first time through. Uh, you can actually go ahead and get them now. Um, this place isn't, while it does look like it's destroying, it's, you can come back. It's not like you, oh, if I didn't get a puzzle piece, you didn't get it. No, you still got it. You still got it. Sora hit level 36, magic has increased, and we learned jackpot. Uh, which is pretty gnarly for us to get those items and money and all that jazz. Uh, which is, you know, something that we'll be taking advantage of for sure later. Uh, and also, it looks like Aladdin also leveled up, which is awesome. Uh, so we can skip that fat, that fat bandit, because he's just not really worth uh, trying to yeah. defeat. Uh, and it looks like we have oh, some more hook bats to destroy and some more rapid thrusters, but this is pretty much the last phase of this part. And then we can, of course, oh my god. Uh, I was going to say, I can't actually do this. Uh, and then hopefully, oh, I was going to say that should be able to do this. But, I mean, if you can defeat these as quickly as you can, you'll just get some nice levels. Right there, Goofy hit level 37 and moving on. I actually really like this part. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of fun. See, right there, you could have easily gotten the puzzle piece. Watch out for these. Not that it's totally uh, a big deal. And we are out of the ruins. Yo, nice job, team. Finished. Get some rest, Carpet. You earned it. Come on, let's get your far. And who asked you? The palace is through there. Hurry. It is indeed, but save the game. You can talk to the carpet if you want. It just looks exhausted. Iago, dude, you're an awful person. Let's save. Also, Iago isn't even a person, so I don't know why I said that. Let's go. And again, you could potentially uh, have a bulky vendor show up. I believe they usually show up right in this area, but they might not right now. Um, no, it's looking like no Heartless are actually showing up. So we want to head to the city gates right now uh, and see what's going on. Hopefully, Jafar isn't destroying everything, but I think we're about to find out. Uh, so far, so good. What are you doing? What are you doing out here, dude? Let's see what he's up to. I guess you know everything now! You can't keep shady stuff secret for long. So true. So true. I had just snuck into the palace to, uh, borrow some treasure when I heard this voice. It said, Release me, and I will give you an even greater reward. Who are you? I asked. The voice spoke again. The true Sultan of Agrabah, he said. Imprisoned by villains. Oh, why did I believe such a tall, tall tale? Perhaps I was under Jafar's spell. Yes, that must be it. And I'm sure the treasure had nothing to do with it, right? Well, maybe a bit. But Jafar, he never gave me a thing. So where did you get all your treasure? Why, the man in the black coat, of course. <gasps> Organization 13. I knew it. The treasure was a gift, so I would tell no one about Jafar's return. He said he would destroy Jafar after turning him into a heartless. So there was no need to upset Agrabah. And you bought that? 
I'm a merchant, and a good one at that. I'll buy anything if the price is right. The price is right. It would have been a successful transaction if it hadn't been seen. Oh, Iago. Hmm. Jafar might be planning on taking over the palace. I wonder if he'd share any treasure. You're such a jerk. All right, let's go. Just wait, Jafar. You'll get exactly what's coming to you. Indeed I will, princess. All of Agrabah will belong to me, while you... <laughs> you, my queen, shall weep at my side for all eternity. Oh, please. <laughs> right about now, your precious Aladdin is whispering your name with his last breath. Hmm? Ah. What was that you were saying, Jafar? You dare defy me, you useless bird! <gasps> Ow! Iago! You'll all be joining him very soon! And here we go, a battle against Genie Jafar. And again, we get to be on the magic carpet, so... On a magic carpet ride, you don't know what we can find. Why don't you... And you just want to lock on... Oop, lock on... Oh, watch out for those. Holy crap. Lock onto his stomach. You want to do some damage here. And that will actually make him uh, turn around, and then we'll use the reaction command roll up which is going to allow us to uh, spin burst him, which is going to stun him, and then we can actually go in and do some damage on his face. Now, something that you want to do here is you actually want to finish your commands and then go this way and then slide in because the carpet will actually do damage, as you can see, while it goes. So you can actually see how much damage we were able to do just then, just by chewing uh, through his 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 heart there, or his, his damage, and then hopefully be able to do some damage there and then roll up yet again. And again, just doing this fight over and over like this, really 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 simple uh so we're gonna go in on his face yet again and be able to do some damage just like that and then we'll do this and then do some damage and you just are kind of just pulling back on your stick just a little bit just so you can go back and do those da that damage uh and then uh, he's gonna do this and he's gonna spin a little bit and do his his thing that he's been doing there's actually a way to avoid his this from happening to actually avoid that entire attack unfortunately uh, i'm not very good at doing that so unfortunately we weren't able to but there it goes we stun him again use roll up yet again and you just want to keep doing this this fight really really isn't that difficult there are of course ways to uh, prevent yourself from getting hit uh, but we weren't really able to do that and we'll just keep doing this now this might not look like you should be doing this but it is uh pulling back it actually looks a like it looks like you're not doing as much damage, but you actually are. Now, in this phase, all you want to do is avoid the damage uh, that is coming at you from these buildings. Uh, you can attack them if you so choose, uh, but for the most part, we'll be okay. Uh, and you just want to, like, you know, hit them with the Keyblade, all that jazz. Uh, you can actually, for the most part, uh, destroy them and keep them at bay. This really is... is It's a gimmicky fight, like I was saying. Unfortunately, I don't think I hit any of those buildings back. Uh, but we're just going to heal, and then we're going to go right into his belly yet again. Uh, you can jump while you're on this and avoid all of this. You can block it with with uh, with guard. You can do whatever you want to avoid this. But again, it does do just a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, so we'll just we'll just kind of go in here. Hopefully, be able to avoid. I'm gonna actually use use the ether right here just so that we don't end up dying. Uh, and then I'm gonna cure Sora uh, just so he doesn't get hit. And then we're gonna go right into the stomach and hit him yet again. Uh, and then we are going to use the roll up command. And hopefully, if I'm not mistaken, this might actually do enough damage to beat him right now. Hopefully, he is not able to get into a second phase uh, because he is of course on his last health bar uh, so there we go and Sora gets the fire elements and Agrabah is done no. oh, can I 
be defeated again by a pack of filthy street rats. Don't mess with street rats. with Jafar and you didn't invite me, Al? Sorry, Genie. Things happen kind of fast. And I had some new moves to show off, too. Not kidding. Mm -hmm. You still need your help. Who's gonna fix Agrabah? Oh, yeah! Well, Super Duper spruced up Agrabah coming right up. You won't even recognize the place when I'm through with it. Just like it was, please. Really? Same old, same old. All right. Oh, yeah! Voila! Next time, let me put in a few swimming pools, okay? And we get the Wishing Lamp, which is actually a pretty good Keyblade. Wishes come true by increasing the drop rate of money and HP and MP orbs. <sighs> I guess Agrabah's all right now. Yeah, thanks, guys. Hey, you behave yourself. Got it? I most definitely got it. No more looking out for number one. I'm reformed. I want to be a good friend like Genie, but I can't do anything to help you. What kind of a friend is that? Oh, no. It's not like that, Iago. Friends don't have to do stuff. As long as you have fun hanging out together, that's all that matters. So, what do you guys do for fun? Me too. Uh, that's not quite what I meant. Well, anyway... Gorsh, Iago. I hope you didn't hurt yourself. Well, <laughs> at least I can still fly. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Uh, was that my cue? Am I on? Come on, Al. Let me build a freeway or something. Uh, everything's fine. Don't panic. Genie, but I can't hold it any longer. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Sora, Donald, Goofy, you guys are too much. If you're ever in the mood for some more cosmic razzle dazzle, give me a shout, okay? You got it. Well, you've done it again, Sora. Don't forget about us, okay? I won't. And Sora. About that friend of yours, the one you're looking for, you'll find him. Trust me. And with that, Agrabah's done. What friends are for trophy has been earned. And... We aren't quite there yet, but the Pride Lands is about to be opened because in the next episode, we are going to go ahead and tackle Halloween Town. So that's it for Agrabah. Agrabah is done, and I'm pretty darn excited to head over to Halloween Town because, of course, uh, that's actually my favorite world, or one of my favorite worlds, in this entire game. Now, something I do want to show is slowly but surely, this thing, whatever this is, has slowly been appearing. I wasn't going to bring any attention to it, uh, and I was gonna see if you guys noticed. In the few episodes uh, that we've been doing this, Chip and Dale keep talking about how a glitch keeps appearing or some shadow or something. Slowly, 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 this has become more and more visible. Now, if you come all the way over, it actually looks like there's something on top. That is going to be a pretty big deal in uh, just a few more episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and remember, uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. Right now is some things showing up on screen that you can click, including a link to Patreon.com, where for just a dollar a month, you can get early access to these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to Genie Jafar.